Okay. <laughs> Welcome everybody. One more tutorial about the DRA80 and we are set. We're ready to go. Thank you for joining. <clears throat> Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing my videos. Appreciate. Um, we have today a video tutorial. Um, somebody called Music Student or his channel is called Music Student. He got a, a request, right? Let me put it on the screen. We got it right here. So he's saying sometimes singer tell me to increase little tempo. I believe what he's referring is the the singer is telling him to increase the, the tempo, the speed. First pattern tempo in increase but i am using this song for patterns i'm not very sure what that means mm, let me keep reading maybe i can figure it out i am using one tempo on a time increase but other patterns tempo is not increased this is a very big problem tell me this problem solution thank you okay um music student okay i believe what you're trying to say is what you mean i'm sorry is is what you mean um that you increase the tempo on one pattern or the first pattern but then when it changes to another pattern the tempo goes back again to the original tempo so you're having a, a big problem with that because you want the tempo to remain let's say if you change it to 120 you want all the other patterns to remain on that tempo 120 okay we're going to take a look at that we, we, i might be able to help you with that and i i answered that was a, a day ago and i answered hi thanks for a request give me a few days and i will have video ready so this is the video thank you and again music student um said dr 880 composer not change all tempos I'm not quite sure. Let me see. Composer. Composer, composer. Easy compose. Okay. I'm not very I'm not very familiar with Easy Composer. But I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to, so you could make a song out of patterns and you could put one tempo. If you need to increase the tempo, it's gonna work. It's gonna work out. Okay. So, not change the tempo patterns. Okay, Doctor A eighty composer not change all te all tempo. Okay, all patterns and one tempo. Please tell me this problem. Let me see if, if the way I'm gonna explain this video, right? The tutorial for this video might help. And the last request or the last comment. It said, Dear Sir, I want Dr. 80 play 123 tempo all patterns. Okay, we're gonna take a look at that. Okay, thank you, um, music student, for your your requests, your comments, your your questions. Hopefully, this video could help you and help others. I'll try to make it as simple as possible. I'll try to um <clears throat> I'll try to explain on, on details little by little and go slow <laughs> as everybody know I, I go slow on my videos I don't I don't brush my videos I don't explain real quick because I like to to explain very well everything every single detail and I like to repeat myself a lot so that way people can understand and can learn okay so thank you music student um, I believe that's the name of your channel for your requests and your comments. Okay, so here we go with the video. Okay, so here we got the, the 880. Me, okay, here we are. I was I was just playing some MIDI notes with the controller. Okay, so here we go. Anyway, if you want to know how I did that, you got to check one of my videos that I have it. I have it connected by MIDI. Or you could do it by USB, either or. So you got to check one of my videos about that. Okay. 
I got a playlist with, with a whole bunch of videos about the DR-880, so it could be easy to find. So let's get right into the video. Okay. <clears throat> what I believe he's trying to say, he's, he did a song, and he's playing the song, but then when he changed the pattern, then the pattern doesn't keep the tempo that he original plays. Okay. Let me explain a little bit about that. This is the way I know how to do it. Maybe there's another way, but I don't know how to do another way. The way I'm going to explain it is the only way I know how to work with that. Okay? A song is made out of patterns. Okay? When you create a song, you, you save it on user location, right? Okay. The patterns, you can select any patterns from the machine. You select any pattern, and you can save all those patterns in sequence as a song. And you can place any tempo you want, and, it, and it's going to work perfectly. Okay? Now then. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. My throat always gives me problems. One second. And here we go. Okay, here we are. We good. Okay, so here we are. One second, one second. One second over here. Okay, I was just increasing the volume. Okay, so then what I was saying is you make a song out of patterns. Okay. If you say the patterns from the machine into a song, you cannot edit those patterns because those patterns are not editable. I believe that's a word. Not sure. <laughs> okay. Let me repeat that again. You cannot edit the patterns that belong to the machine. You only can edit patterns that you save into user location. Okay, so you got two user locations, one for songs and one for patterns. If you want to make any changes to the patterns from the machine, you save them on user location. Or you could bring in patterns from, from your computer, right? You could bring in a pattern and you could save it into the machine. I have a video about that. And then in, in your machine, you can edit that pattern. Or you can edit the pattern in a DAW on your computer. And then you can bring the pattern into the machine. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save a whole bunch of patterns from the machine into a song. User location into a song. Okay? So, I believe I have a, an example here. Press Shift. Press songs. Well, first, if you can see here, it says pattern. Okay, pattern preset. This is from the machine. If I select this pattern, which is called Cool Groove, and I save it, so that way I can make a song. If I save this pattern, I cannot make any changes because this pattern I cannot edit it. I have to change, I have to save this pattern into a user location then i can edit it okay so here we go why i say that because if you edit the pattern right you you make any any edits it's gonna let you only save it into user location you cannot save it so if you make any changes always save how do you know that you made a change because you're going to have a star right around here. There's going to be like a, a little star. Okay. That's how you know that you could save something. Because something got changed. A pattern or a song got changed. And the, at the little star is going to show up. Okay. So let's go right into it. Remember this pattern. Is from the machine. Okay. I'm going to press shift and song. This is pattern for the user, okay? And you can see here, I got something saved. 
patterns for the user. And if I move the knob, right, the data knob or the value knob, it's going to change to another pattern, user. This is saved as user. That's another pattern, saved as user, and so on. Okay? Here I got something saved. I don't know if that's... Let me see if that has sounds. Okay? We got sound with that. Okay? Maybe this doesn't have anything. No, it's empty. See, it's playing, but there's no sound. So that means this is empty. That means I, I could delete this. It doesn't have any sound. Okay. doesn't really matter. So this is another one. Maybe this one has sound. Nope. No sound. It's like a test, most likely. So what I'm trying what I'm trying to show you here are the patterns for user. These are the patterns that you could edit. Okay. You could you could change anything on the pattern. Let's say that I want to change this pattern for a different tempo. So then I go here, tempo, and I go here. See? Okay. This will go away. There you go. And look at the star right here. That means I need to change I need to save this pattern because if I don't save it and I move the dial, when I go back, it's not gonna have this tempo. It's gonna have another tempo because I just moved the tempo. Let me do it again. Move, let's say that I want one one hundred and something, whatever, one thirty five. Okay. I got one thirty five and I got the star. If I don't save this pattern, the tempo is going to go away and it's going to go back to the original tempo. Let me show you. Okay, I'll move the pattern. If I go back, 70. So every time that you see a star, that means that you made a change on either a song or the pattern. Right now, we're talking about patterns because we are on the pattern section. Okay, we are in the pattern section of user, remember. Only you could edit the, the user patterns. If you edit a pattern from the machine, it's going to tell you to save it. Or, or if you go exit, it's not going to save the changes. That's why you always have to save user. Okay, so remember, a song is made out of patterns. Okay? And the patterns, so you put them together on the song section you put the pattern together on the song, a song section, so that way you can save it as a song. So a song has different patterns in order. It plays in order. Okay? So any changes you make to the pattern is going to be, the patterns are going to be saved on user location. Pattern, user. You make the changes, you save the pattern. When you play the song, the song is going to follow with those changes. Okay? So now let's go here to song. Okay, I'm going to press this one right here, song. Song user. I have one song here. I have another song here. I have a third song. I don't know if this has information. Let me see. I'm going to play. Nope, this is empty. I have played, nothing happened. So this, this is empty. This is song number four for user, song number five. And these are empty, I could tell. Doesn't have any tempo, doesn't have any keys, so that means it's empty. You have a hundred user location for songs, I believe. There you go, you have a hundred songs. Now, don't make the patterns too long, because if you make the patterns too long, you, you're going to run out of space. You're not going to be able to save 100 songs. So you make the patterns short and you put them together on the song section. Okay? User song. Let me say that again. You make the patterns short, very short, so that way you, you're going to be able to save up to 100 songs of different patterns. But make the pattern short so that way you don't run out of space, okay? You, you're still going to have space to save song. But you only have 100 user locations, 100, okay? So let me go back here to one. Okay. 
let me erase this so I can make a new one. So I'm going to erase. Don't, don't erase your patterns. I'm just going to erase my patterns. Okay? You don't have to erase your patterns. I'm just going to erase this so I can start fresh. I can start new with a new song on user 001. Okay? So here we go. Edit. Song, because I'm going to edit the song. I hit enter. Okay. Info, name, step record, right? Copy, clear. That's what I want to do. You don't need to clear. I just want to clear so that way I can start new with a new, with a new song. Okay. So we're going to hit enter. Clear song. Yes. I hit enter again. Remember, you don't have to do this. I just want to do it so I could demonstrate what I, what I want to save on user song user 001. <clears throat> okay. So here we go. Okay, there you go. It's ready to go. So it's clear. Song user 001 is, doesn't have tempo, doesn't have key. So that means it's clear. If I go exit, okay, I hit play, there's nothing there. Okay, I just erase it. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to bring in the patterns on user 001. So I can save the, the patterns as a song. Okay. So on this song, I'm going to bring in the patterns. Okay, so here we go. Edit, because I want to edit the song. User location, remember. Edit, song, I'm going to edit the song. Enter. Okay. We're going to go back. We're going to move this, the cursor right here. Okay, step record. If I go to info, there's going to be nothing because it's, there's nothing saved here. See, the tempo original is 120, but there's nothing here. Okay. So I'm going to go back, exit, and I'm going to go from info. I'm going to go to step record right here, enter. Now here, I'm going to start loading the patterns. Okay. So which patterns do you want to save here? That's, that's how you go and get them. Okay. How do you do that? Okay. Very good question. Here we go. See this? Pattern 001. This is from the original, from the machine. Okay. Why? Because it would have saved in user. U001. Let me see if I could change this to user. They have 500 patterns, the machine, the DR80 has 500. Let me press shift to see if it will go faster. Uh, yep, it's going faster. There you go. User, user pattern. Okay. So if I want to select a user pattern, I just go here and leave it like that. Okay, if you want to select another pattern, you just go here with the cursor. Number two, move the dial around and you get your pattern. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to select patterns from the machine. Okay. And I'm going to place them in order. So let's go back here. Okay, let me leave that there. Let me go back up. So we are on number one pattern number one so we can make a song remember we, we're trying to make a song song is called zero zero one user location okay so we're gonna put this one 500 pattern 500 from the machine let me go ahead shift so it could go faster there you go okay uh wait user wait 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 not user I want to use patterns from the machine. There you go. Now I'll go to 500. There you go. Pattern 500 from the machine. Now I'm going to select here another one from the machine. 499. Pattern from the machine, 499. Now I'm going to select another one. 
Here I'm going to select 498 from the machine. 499, 498, sorry, right there. Okay. Now we're going to select one more, and that's it. I'm not going to select any more patterns. One more. And we're going to select 97, and that's it. So we got 97, 98, 99, and 500. That's our song. Okay, four patterns. The tempo is 120. Don't worry, we're going to change the tempo. Okay? So you don't have to worry because when you change the tempo, you're going to change for all the patterns on sequence. Okay? So what we do here is exit. And we're going to go to write. And we're going to write song user 001. Okay? Remember, the tempo is 120. We go here, write. Enter. So write to user the u for user zero zero one so we're gonna we're gonna hit enter okay cancel exit right enter here we go writing now we can wait a little bit we're not gonna be using the bass so i'm gonna turn down the the knob of the bass we're not gonna use the bass only the drums There you go. We finish, we hit exit, exit again, and this is the song. Okay, here we go. Play. And that's it. Okay, that's the song that we saved. What happened is that we have two extra measures because the, the patterns, they were not exactly four beats. Some of them have like, like eight beats, okay? So then what we want to do, we want to change the tempo, right? Right here. So you want to increase it. When you increase it, it's going to save the tempo because this is a song. These are not patterns. The song is made out of patterns, okay? Remember that? So the song, we're going to increase the tempo, so the, all the patterns are going to be increased. Tempo, 150, okay? And you could hit um, exit, or you just wait, and it will clear. Hit play. Okay, that's it. That's our song. See, the tempo remain on 151 for all of them, all of them, for the whole song. We see the little star, that means that we made a change, and if we don't save, and we move the dial, it's going to go back to the original 120. Okay, I changed the song. Now, if I go back to song one, it's going to go to 120. There you go. So I was supposed to say because I have the little star here. Okay, so let me do that again. Let me change the tempo. Okay, let's say I want it on 150. And here I need to save. You see the star? I need to save this. So the song is gonna the song is gonna keep the tempo. So I go edit, right? Song because I'm gonna edit the song. I'm gonna save it. So I hit enter. Right, so that way you will save the song. Enter is the song number one zero zero one user location. The U for user, remember user and zero zero one. So now I hit enter, and now we're saving the one hundred fifty tempo. Wait for it. Okay, and you're done. You hit exit, exit, and that's it. It's going to remain on 150. If you turn off the machine, right, you don't have to worry. It's going to keep the 150. So we're going to go to song user 001. Okay, this is how normally it starts with, with the 001 pattern from the machine. So we're going to go to our song. So I hit song user 001, 150. 
Okay. That's it. I I hit stop. Okay, so good. All right. So remember, a song is made out of patterns. The pattern you can select the patterns from the machine, or you can select the patterns from your computer, bring them in the machine, from your computer to the machine. And when you're gonna save the patterns, they have to be saved on pattern user location. So remember, the song is made out of patterns. You edit the patterns on user location or your computer, so that way your patterns are ready. Make the patterns short, so that way you could do a whole lot of songs. You have 100 user location songs, 100, okay? You have 100 songs for user location. So make the pattern short, and all you have to do, just put them on sequence. Okay, let's do something even better. Let's just, let's, let's get um, different patterns. Let's start with pattern number one. Let me, let me save them. What we're going to do, we're going to edit those patterns. We're going to say one, two, three, four. And let me, let me show you. Instead of explaining it, let me show you what I'm going to do. So song number one, let's leave it like that. So we're going to create another song called number two. Because I don't really remember how to edit this, how to go into detail to edit this. I don't remember how to do that. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to pattern number one. And we're going to save it. Shift. So you could go faster. There you go. We're going to save this pattern. And then we're going to edit it. Okay, so I want to save it first. So we're going to go into edit. The pattern, we're going to go enter, and we're going to save, right? And we're going to go into user location, let's say number 10, just to make a number, number 10. Okay, so we're going to hit enter, right, enter, user location, let's go to number 10. Okay, 10 is good. Let me save it just like that. Okay, so we're gonna say we're gonna say pattern one, two, three, four. And we're gonna make it short and then we're gonna put them together as a song. That's what we're gonna do better. Because I don't remember how to edit the other way. The other way. Okay. Okay, that's good. So now hit exit, right? We gotta go back into pattern. Not not user, but the from the machine number two. We're gonna go into number two. Let's hit shift so we could go faster. Not one, but two, and we're gonna save it on eleven. Okay, so we hit edit pattern, enter, right, enter. We're gonna go to eleven because ten is already saved. So we're gonna go into this one. Okay, so here we go. Save. Doesn't matter. I, I don't really need this. If you have, if you have something on user location, don't overwrite. Make sure that you save always on an empty one. I'm gonna save here because I don't care about this slow one. So I'm gonna overwrite it. I don't really care about it. But never overwrite something because you might need it. Okay. Remember, we are on user location. Okay, we're going to save a preset pattern, but we're going to save it into user location. So on 11, I have something called slow one, but I don't care about that. I'm going to overwrite. Okay, so right here, I just hit enter. To write, I hit enter. So if you have something on user location, make sure that you don't need it or make sure to save somewhere else. Okay, so that way you don't overwrite your patterns. Wait for it. Okay, there you go. Good. So now we're gonna go. We're gonna go into three pattern, not user, but pattern from the machine number three. We're gonna hit. Um, let me hit exit first. We're gonna go to three, one, two, three. There you go. All these patterns got different tempo. Okay, so we have to edit that to one tempo. So that way, we gotta make it one tempo. So that way, when we change. The overall tempo of the song is going to remain. 
We're going to save this to, to 12. Okay, pattern number 3 to 12. So here we go. Edit, pattern, enter, right, enter. Right here we select 12 because we got 10, 11, the one that we just saved, and 12. Okay, I got another one slow too, but I don't care about that. So I'm going to overwrite it. So we could enter. Just wait for it. <clears throat> and then we're going to take one more. We're going to save it. So we're going to have four patterns of just one measure. Each pattern, we're going to cut it down to one measure. Okay. So you hit shift so that we go faster. One, two, three, four. We're going to save this one, Foxy Rock. So we hit Edit, Pattern, Enter, Right, Enter. We're going to save it on 13, I believe. Yep. I don't, I don't, I don't worry about this. I'm just going to save it here on 13. Okay. So here we go. So Pattern 4 is going to be saved on, on 13. We hit Enter. And it's overwriting. But if you have patterns that you don't want to overwrite, you got to make sure to save it on another user location. Okay. I'm just going to do this for demo purposes. And I don't care about those because I have a backup of those patterns. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I could, I could bring them in later. So from here, I hit exit. Now we're going to go into the patterns. The one that I save which is this is one of them, that's another one, that's another one, and that's another one. We're going to save them, but we have to set a tempo first. Or let, let's leave it like that. No, no um, yeah, let's leave it like that. And let's, when we play the song, let's hit a, a tempo, a different tempo, to see if it keeps the, the tempo that I, that I save. Okay, let, let's leave it like that. Let's see what happens. Now this... Let me see. I believe this is. I just want. Let me see. I just want four. Two, three, four. That's it. Okay. I just want one. One measure of four beats. That's it. I don't want the whole bar. Only one. One. Okay. So this is how we do it. Okay. So we go into edit. We're going to edit this pattern user. Because you can't edit a pattern from the machine because it's going to still save it on user location. It's not going to save it in the machine. Okay, so here we hit edit. We're going to edit this pattern. So we hit enter. We're going to go... Hold on a second. Right, copy, clear. No, we're going to go edit. Yes. And we're going to go here. Mm, insert erase because we're going to be erasing from from that pattern let me see if that's correct it's one one destination measure, mm, number measures one mm, destination measure we got four okay so we're gonna see we're going to delete one, which is number four. Okay. Hold on one second. All the parts. This is going to be the bass and the drums. Okay. The measure number four, we're going to delete it because we only want one measure. Okay. So we're going to delete. Press enter. Okay. We got to do it again. We delete four. Now we're going to go to three. Enter. Destination measure one, two, three, four. Hmm, it's weird. Number measures one. Ah, it's only one. I thought I it just got erased. Okay, let me go to three. Go to three and erase. Right. Because if I go delete, let me see. Oh, 
it's not erased because I'm just erasing the information, the data. We got to use delete. My bad, my bad. Destination measure number four, we're going to delete that one. Okay, it's only one. So we're going to delete. We're going to delete four, three, two. We're going to stay, stay with one. We're going to keep one. Okay. So here we go. Enter. Because if I hit erase, I'm only erasing the information, not the the not the the measure. We we're erasing only the information. So now we hit again enter, and now it doesn't exist. Four is gone. We're gonna delete three. Enter. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry that that was my mistake. I thought it was erased, but it's not erased. It's actually delete. If you want to erase, you could, but the measure is still going to run. It's going to run empty because it doesn't have any information. I want to delete. Okay, so now I'm going to delete two. So I'm only going to keep one. Okay, so I hit enter. Now it's only going to have one. Watch. Only one. That's it. See? If I go here, it's only one. Okay, so that's good. Now we need to save this pattern. Okay. We hit exit. We have to write this pattern or save it. So here is exit. We want to save this before going any further. Okay. Right. Okay. It's gonna still gonna be saved on user location number 10. Right, enter, user location 10. That's the name. That's good. Okay, enter. So now instead of four measures, I'm only going to have one measure of four beats, okay? Okay, that's done. Let's check it out. Only one. And you're going to repeat again because only one. Okay, so this, this one, this one is four, only one, one. I'm going to do the same process. So edit, pattern, oh, sorry, is enter. Now we got to go to, wait, 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 not clear, not copy, not write, edit. There you go, edit. We're going to go delete, okay? So we're going to hit enter, and we're going to go through the same process. We're going to delete four, three, and two. So here we go, enter. Again, we're going to delete that one. Again, and we're going to delete number two. And that's it. We exit. Uh, we got to save this info right. So here we're going to hit right, enter, because we want to write this, this pattern number 11. Enter number 11, yeah, user 11. Enter. Wait for it. So that way we're going to make a song out of those four different patterns. Okay. Okay. So now we go back again. Um, to edit. Oh, we got to We got to select number 12. Okay. So we're going to go here. Number 12. Number 12. We got here eight. So we're going to delete. All of them, we're only going to keep one, the first one. Okay. So here we go. Edit. Pattern. Enter. We're going to go into step. No, no, step record. Sorry. Edit. Okay. We're going to delete because we're going to start deleting measures. Enter. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. That would be cool if we could select more. Number measures. Hmm. Okay. So we go. We do it one by one. So enter. Again, enter number seven. And again, delete number six. Delete number five. Delete. So I press enter. Delete number four. Delete. I press enter number three. 
there's the last one is going to be number two delete enter number two that's it now we go back exit we're going to save right 12 yes okay good so here we go enter so we got 10 11 12 i think we need one more to go so all of them gonna have one so my song is gonna be just four four measures one bar okay so now we're gonna go to 13 exit so this is gonna be my last one okay see so this one is is one this one is one and this one is one 10 11 12 13 1 oh 13 is the last one so we gotta put we gotta erase all these we're gonna keep one and then we're gonna make the song okay so here we go edit pattern we're gonna go to edit again here delete that's what we're gonna do we want to delete enter okay so we're gonna go to the last one number eight and then it's gonna go one by one delete right so we hit enter delete again number seven number six number five number four delete again number three delete again number two and that's it we're gonna keep number one okay so we're gonna go exit here and we're gonna look for save or write right so we're gonna save the pattern we are only keeping one one um one measure I, I believe yeah measure so the song is gonna be a four measure enter right enter 13 yes good wait for it so now we we edited each one of them of the patterns now we're ready to create the song out of pattern number 10 11 12 13 okay so here we go ready we go here exit see there's only now one remember we got different temples okay so we got different temples on each one of them okay now we're going to create a song so we got to move here to song right now we are in pattern we got to move to song we hit this button song user list edit number two number two we got something here so we're gonna we're gonna clear that okay let's clear it let's hit edit um, song up oh, sorry it's enter and we are gonna clear so everything is gonna be clear song number two okay you don't need to do the clear i just want to do it so that way is is good to go is ready to go ready to create a song because it's going to be clean okay so we're going to clear clear song yes here we go wait for it okay ready to go now we hit exit song we're gonna edit the song we're gonna go to step there you go so we are on song number two and we're gonna hit step so that way we could create the song enter and there you go it's clear so we're ready to go here we're gonna select pattern number 10 user 10 we hit n no not hit enter sorry we go here on this this is pattern one from the machine we want the user pattern so we go shift okay there you go now we go to number 10 there you go number 10 okay it's only one measure 
length, one measure. It's four, four, one measure. The tempo says here 120. Okay, let's hit. Let's let's go down because also it assigns a tempo already. It overrides the tempo of the pattern. Okay, that's understandable. Now we select here number 11. There you go, number 11. Number 12. Okay, now number 13. 13 by here. Okay, that's done. That's it. It's done. Now we hit exit. We have to write this song. Number 2. Is user two okay? Right, user zero zero two okay. Good. So we hit enter. Okay, so we got now a song with the patterns from the machine, and we made them only four four measures because we cut every pattern to one measure. Okay. Okay, so it's ready to go. We're going to hit play, see? This is our song. The tempo is 120, so it overrides the tempo of each one of them. Let me see if that's right. Yep. That's it. Okay. So that's how you create a song. Now, you don't like the tempo. You want to make it faster or slower. All you have to do is hit tempo. Go here. And you're good to go. X. Remember, we got a start, so we need to save because if you move this, the 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 editing is gonna go away. See? So now we're back on 120. Okay. The tempo, hit the desired tempo that you want. I'm gonna hit 70. Okay. <clears throat> And now I need to save. So I go edit um, song because I'm going to edit the song. I'm going to hit write so that way it could be saved. Okay. Use this 002. That's right. Correct. Enter. And that's it. Okay. So that's almost done. So we're ready to. We have already, we did two songs made of patterns, okay? So this is our song number two. The tempo 70, so it's gonna keep the tempo on all the measures, okay? And that's it. Okay, our song number one. Okay, so let's say, okay, it's a little bit too fast. Okay, so hit tempo. You go again to 70. Just to make to make a, a point, right? It doesn't have to be 70. You can put any tempo you want. I'm not gonna save it, I'm just gonna leave it like that. But remember, if I move this or move here, if I move the song to another one, you're gonna lose the 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 70, the tempo 70. Okay. Let me go back again. Okay, that's it. Let me take this measure, this one, the first one from this song. Let me go, let me start to go back here. Okay, I'm going to use this measure. So let me, let me see which one is this one so I can put it on song number two. Okay, so let me see what measure is that one. Hit it, song, we hit enter. We're going to go to step, so that way I know which measure is that one. Enter is 500. Measure 500 from pattern from the machine. Okay. So I'm going to insert this measure on the last on the last of the song, song number two. Okay. So I go back. We're going to go to song number two. Remember, since it got a star, if you move this, it's going to lose the tempo on the song number one. So I don't care about that. 
I'm gonna go to saw number two, <clears throat> and I'm gonna insert the the measure P P zero uh, P five hundred pattern five hundred on the machine. So we go edit on song zero zero two. We go edit. Right, we're gonna edit the song. Enter step record. Okay, we go enter, and we're gonna add that last measure. On number five after four then it's gonna play that ending so we're gonna put we're gonna place here um p500 that one i want that one so after my song plays normally then it's gonna play that pattern and that's gonna make the, the song complete remember the tempo is gonna remain so it's gonna be 270 okay so now i hit exit now I gotta hit right so it will save the changes that I just did to the song 002. I gotta hit right. So it's gonna save the changes. Enter. Let's wait for it. Okay, wait for it. Just take a few seconds. Maybe like 15 seconds. Okay, that's it. Done. So now we got this one, which is the, the ending, the pattern 500. Okay, so we're going to play the song. Remember, it's on 70. And there you go. And that's it. Okay. If you want it to play again, you loop, you make a loop, okay? You create a loop. If you want, if you want to, to loop certain measures, if you want the whole song to, to keep going, then you just keep repeating. Edit the song and keep adding the same patterns. So it will repeat the same patterns again and again and again. Or you could just loop it. You see, loop here and hit play so it's looping this now it's gonna loop that one oh it didn't oh okay okay because i moved it that's why okay understandable that's for the key key shift okay if i want to um edit the 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 kit the the drum kit i hit kit so i can select another sound for the drums okay right now we're using um studio one sounds i want another another kit okay studio one which is on um, pattern one I, I think studio two, let me see how it sounds. I like that one better. Okay. So then what I do is, okay, exit. Since we did the change of the kit, we need to save it here because we got the stars. So we hit edit, edit the song, right? Oops, sorry. Enter and write. So that way it will keep the kit, the sounds of the drums that we just changed. Enter. <clears throat> if you don't like the tempos, if it's a little bit too slow, then you increase the tempo. And for the whole song, it's going to be good. Good to go. Okay, it's already already done. Save. So the kit is changed the sound. See, that's another sound. And the tempo, let's say, okay, I want to increase that tempo. Okay. If if you if you let me go back to 70. Okay. If you move the tempo while the song is running 
Oh, it's a little bit too slow. Okay, you could do that also. But remember, you have the star. So as soon as you have a chance, you have to save it. If you don't have a chance to save it while you're performing, because you, you don't have a little break, a small break, write it down real quick or take a picture with your cell phone. So that way you can remember what tempo is it. So that way in your house, whenever you have time, then you could change it. Or later that night that you're performing, if you have a little break, then you're going to be able to change it, to save the changes. Okay, so of course you could play and you could change the tempo. Okay, but remember you need to save because if you don't save and you do this, it's going to go back to the original 270. Okay, so always remember to save. Whenever you see a star, that means that something happened, it got edited, so you need to save. Okay, so I believe that that's it for this tutorial. I really appreciate the request. Hopefully, let me see if, if I got cover everything. I, I believe I did. Okay, sometimes you can tell me that. Okay, we, we did the temple. Okay, so don't, don't change the tempo on just the patterns. Make a song from patterns. So that way, when you change the tempo, all, all the song is going to be on one tempo. Okay. And okay, so here you say, so we covered this one. The composer, okay. I, I don't think I was using composer. I was just using the patterns to create a song. And I just used this. I didn't use any of these buttons here. Okay. So, 123, yeah, we, we did all this. So, I appreciate um, um, the channel called Music Student, right? And I appreciate him for, for asking to do this, this video. Hopefully, it could help him. If you have any other questions, let me know. Hopefully, I, I did the video the best I could. I explained a whole bunch of things. Some things I couldn't, um, something I don't understand on the machine, so that's why I can't go into it. What, what I did is what I know, and the videos that I have done so far, that's what I know about the machine. I don't, I don't know a whole lot of, of things from the machine because I don't use it very frequently. I use it sometimes when I create videos, when I'm playing the piano and I create a video, that's, that's when I use the machine just to have a, a drum beat. But I don't really use it a lot. I don't program a lot of drums with this. I always use my software, FL Studio. But I really appreciate the, the questions and the requests. Hopefully this helped this video. So i see you on the next video. Thank you. And see you on the next one.